today this video is going to be about the Mate 30 Pro. Now I can make this video regarding the leaks and rumors of Mate 30 Pro and how it is going to perform, which processor they are going to use, how many cameras does the device have but this video is not about the hardware, actually it's about the software because Mate 30 is going to be a transitioning device for Huawei. You see, we already know that Google has banned Huawei from their Android operating system which essentially means that Huawei can no longer use Google's Android and Huawei has already tipped us about making a, their own operating system called Hongman OS in China and internationally it's going to be called ArcOS or OCOS. I don't know from where they get these names. However, Huawei operating system is tipped out to be a great operating system as it is based on Linux and Huawei is taunting that this operating system will be faster than the Android which we are currently using on our cellular devices. Now Huawei Mate 30 Pro is an interesting device because this device is going to be the first device with Huawei's own operating system. Before this device all the phones that are going to launch or that have already been launched are using Android operating system and Huawei is going to continue supporting these cell phones as it is so you are going to get Android updates on all the older devices and Android Q is already coming to Mate 20 Pro and it is stepped out to be coming on P30 Pro which is their current flagship which means that Mate 30 Pro is going to be the first device with ArcOS on board. Now Mate 30 Pro is a very important device because this device is also bringing the Huawei's latest chipset called the Kirin 985 which is going to be significantly faster from Snapdragon 855 which is used currently in all the flagship devices like Samsung Galaxy S10 or even the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now Google is not liking this current situation a bit because of two reasons. Number one reason is that Google does not want any other competition when it comes to their operating system market because Android is right now leading the smartphone game. And the second reason which Google puts forward is the fact that if Huawei succeeds in making their own operating system, it is going to be more vulnerable to hacks and stuff like that and it is going to affect the security of anyone using Huawei device or anyone communicating with someone using Huawei device. So for example if you belong from US and you are using a secure Android device or even an iPhone and you send something to a person who is using Huawei in some other part of the world then your information is not going to be safe because you will be communicating with the device which is not secure on the other end. So Google is quite concerned about the whole situation and this is the reason why Google is trying to lobby against the ban and trying to figure out some way to provide Huawei the updates so Huawei does not go forward with this plan. Also at this point in the video I want to compare Huawei with Nokia because many people are thinking that Huawei's fate is going to be similar to that of Nokia because Nokia was a great hardware manufacturer. Their hardware technology was much much better than any other competition out there. Hell they were introducing different features like gyroscope back in 2005. But Nokia suffered great loss because of one reason and one reason only and that was their operating system. Nokia was slow to jump on the bandwagon of smartphones and when they did, they did it with Windows which didn't have the great Android app store which we are currently using and that was the only reason Nokia flopped. And today when they are back in the market it is because they are using Android operating system. Now people are comparing the situation of Huawei with that of Nokia because they think that Huawei's situation is similar to that of Nokia. However things are quite different. You see in case of Huawei people of Huawei which use Huawei are not limited to that of the countries where Android is used. In fact Huawei subscriber base is actually mostly from China. 50% of their users come from China which are already not using any kind of Google services. They are already adapted themselves to the app store which is provided by Huawei which means that they are already using applications which are only available in China. So that means 50% of the Huawei users are not going to be affected by the whole Google ban. However, the rest of the 50% is going to be people from Europe and Asian countries and these are the ones who are actually going to be affected and these are the ones who are going to see major change when it comes to Hongmeng OS. Now I'm not saying that this is going to be easy task for Huawei, in fact this is one of the most difficult tasks 
put in front of Huawei but if any company any company in the world has any kind of power to fight Google and their Android then that company is going to be Huawei because they are the only company which has the biggest advantage of 50% of their users already not using Google's operating system. Now I want to know what are your opinions regarding the whole Android ban. Personally I believe that technology should not be limited to a country and when it comes to technology the whole world should be connected. Now I already know that in terms of China, China has already banned Google services like you cannot use Google or YouTube in China and now US is banning Huawei which means that the whole war situation the trade war situation is getting worse day by day and I don't like it a bit but I want to know what are your thoughts regarding the whole situation and what do you think the future is going to be also I want to know what are your thoughts regarding Mate 30 Pro and what is the most important thing in a cell phone when you are buying a device also if you're new to the channel do subscribe because I try to upload daily content but I somehow miss but I'm a good person so you can subscribe the channel like this video comment on it and let me know what you think about it and I will see you in the next one